Hello. Um, today we're going to look at the uh, Connect 2 and primarily all its uh, video depth infrared streams. Um, keep in mind that everything I'm going to show you here is based on alpha software and a pre-release sensor. So things will change, um, but this mainly serves as like um, a sneak peek on what to expect. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, this is the video stream. Uh, we now have a full HD video stream. It's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, it's nice and crisp. Um, it runs at 30 frames a second, but in this case, with my screen recording going on, um, it runs at about 15. I think it also has to do with that this room is a little bit dark, so it's, um, um, it, it automatically gains everything, so you, you get a nice and um, crisp picture uh, at a lower frame rate. Um, I have seen it work at uh, 30 frames a second in a brighter room environment though. Um, this is pretty much like any very good webcam, so nothing too special about the video mode, um, except that it's a very wide field of view. So you can see some of the properties here. Um, so it's like 84 degrees in um, um, horizontal and more than 90 degrees uh, diagonal and uh, 53 vertical. So that's pretty wide, so you get a nice full view of your full room. Um, but let's move on. The next stream we're going to look at is the infrared stream. Oops, there we go. Um, it's a little bit dark here, so I'm going to boost it. Uh, this stream um, delivers an infrared view, so it's not affected by any lighting in your room. So if I turn on or off lights, this will be still a very stable image. Um, and also, unlike the Connect 1, this is using a different principle. Um, it's not using the speckled pattern anymore, but this is like a true, uh, fully lit uh, infrared view. Which means that for tracking purposes, this is a very nice and stable environment to do tracking on. Um, as you can see, it's uh, lower in resolution than the video stream. It's 512 by 424, and it's in a little bit more squarish format, so not as widescreen as the video. Um, and also, it has a very wide field of view, so it's about 70 degrees horizontal, so you get a very, uh, which is wider than the Kinect 1, for example. So it's much easier to um, get close to the sensor, still be able to do all the tracking stuff. Uh, also, this view is the one that is um, responsible for all the depth sensing, so let's move on to that. And there we go, that's the depth view. Um, uh, since this is using a different principle than the original Kinect, it's no longer using the structured light with the speckled pattern, but it's time of flight. Uh, it now has a true depth reading per pixel, so we got much more fidelity from the actual um, sensor than we got uh, from the previous version of the Kinect. Um, this has the same properties as the infrared view because it's it's based on it, so it's 512 by 424, wide, uh, wide field of view again. and. Um, the depth properties, for now at least, uh, they range from about 50 centimeters from the sensor all the way back into the room uh, up to four and a half meters or so. Um, and we can do some preliminary body detection on here. Um, I don't have the skeletons implemented yet, um, so expect that in another video soon. Um, what, we can, what we can do is combine all these things into the point cloud. And this is a visualization of that. So I still have some work to do with uh, mapping the color to the depth, but um, as you can see, this is the full point cloud with the nice fidelity uh, of the new depth sensor. And let me just orbit it around a little bit. And there you go, that's a view of the new Connect, and expect new videos soon when I implement the depth stream and other new features that are coming up. Thank you.